All right, here we go. Our latest ranged cookie here, creme brulee. So, uh, you know, we got pretty lucky with this one. Let's see how this goes. Maybe, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get we'll get like a, a Taspy comp back or, or something. I don't know. All right, there we go. A Salarando. Uh, it's a nine second cooldown. Getting close to the, the shortest cooldown inside of the game, which is I believe eight seconds. Ginger Brave is eight seconds. Guys, so before we get back into the video, I do want to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that is going to be LD Player. So just like always, I've been using LD Player for the longest time now for this channel, playing Cookie Run Kingdom, and it is the best emulator that I have used, allowing me to play not only Cookie Run Kingdom, but other Android games that are going to be available inside of the Google Play Store. LD Player is amazing, guys. It is the absolute best emulator that I have used without any problems so far. Their support is definitely amazing as well. They try to fix any problems that come up right away, especially for Cookie Run Kingdom. But if you guys want to use the emulator like myself and play on your PC, then click the link down in the description and download LD Player and try it out yourself and enjoy your Cookie Run Kingdom gameplay on your computer. Cranberry Cookie's passionate, captivating performance deals light type damage to enemies and enhances his regular attacks with the Acceleranda buff. Creme Brulee Cookie's regular attack targets the enemy with the highest attack and when enhanced, apply the mysterious melody buff to nearby cookies. The PNS will also create Creme Brulee pieces depending on the number of Acceleranda stacks. Creme Brulee pieces will deal damage to enemies in the order of highest attack, dealing additional damage to targets vulnerable to elemental damage and partially ignoring enemies' damage resist at maximum Acelerando stacks. Cranberry Lake Cookie will lose two Acelerando stacks if the skill effect ends with the maximum number of stacks. While Cranberry Lake uh, Cookie is using his skill, he will briefly become resistant to interrupting effects. We got Acelerando damage is 670.6% of attack, which is honestly uh, pretty darn strong here. Uh, we got enhanced regular attack 352% of attack. A Sarando uh, buff is 17.5% attack speed uh, and creates Creme Brulee pieces per stack, stack up to uh, three times. Uh, we got Creme Brulee uh, pieces, so we have to use the skill three times in order to get to that. And then uh, Creme Brulee pieces damage is going to be 94.3% of attack plus 15% of additional damage to targets vulnerable to elemental damage. Ignores 30% of the uh, target's damage resist and max uh, surround the stacks. Mysterious Melody is additional 20% attack speed and 35% attack speed debuff resist for debuff duration. Uh, Mysterious Melody additional damage is 115% of Cranberry's attack speed boost rate scaling with his attack. Well, uh, definitely seems like a, you know, attack speed uh, type cookie here. Um, so let's just test uh, him out, honestly speaking. It, it seems very interesting. We're just going to use Raz very first with some cooldown damage resist and uh, attack speed. Just see the damage here. Okay, yeah. So it is it is going to have this uh, thing right here. The Mysterious Melody as well as a Sorondo stack. You can see there's that one stack right there. Alright, so there's the second Sorondo stack. Did you Do you see that? goodness okay i i see how the i see how it works i can see how it works all right so so we can see right there what the heck do you see that you're not gonna die right Oh my gosh, how many hits is that? It's so fast, I can't even, I, I can't even tell. Yeah, let's try this then, right? Uh, so we got uh, Swift Chocolate, Swift Chocolate, Swift Chocolate. Uh, we got some of the raspberries and Swift Chocolate. All right, first one. Okay, here we go. Put it at 1.2. So. Oh shoot, I forgot to turn off the animation. I gotta turn the animation off. Okay, we got the mysterious uh, melody buff. Okay. 
Okay. Oh my. Because of the fact that uh, Crème Brûlée is attacking the cookie, right, with the, uh, with the highest attack automatically instead of targeting the tank, it just makes him just so much stronger than just regular, you know, DPSs. You know, that's the thing, right? Like, of course, he's not going to be doing like a major damage to the entire team, uh, but he's focused targeting the main DPSs. Right, so he got rid of Frost Queen. He got rid of uh, Black uh, Pearl, and then he got he he just targeted uh, you know Golden Cheese instead of targeting someone like you know uh, Crimson Coral. And now, yeah, of course, with him, Fettuccine is gonna be another like quote unquote counter, right? Because of the fact that you know Fettuccine is gonna be able to taunt uh, Cranberry into attacking unless. You know, he's out of the range. If he's out of the range, then the taunt won't do anything. Uh, this team is going to be against Frost Queen. I want to say it's going to be Fla uh, Frost Queen, Black Pearl, and Golden Cheese for this one. So. Oh, I forgot to turn off animation again. But look right here. He's targeting uh, the, the cookie with the uh, highest attack. Right. So. Oh, Black Pearl is dead. But now our Cranberry is getting focused target. Oh, it just one shotted. It one shotted the golden cheese. Oh my goodness. Yo, his auto attack just one shot at the golden cheese and just destroyed the coffin. Dude, look at that. Oh my goodness. Well, the only reason why Cranberry was kind of quote unquote tanky is because of the fact that, you know, there's Snapdragon and then Parfait having uh, the, you know, buffs. And then once, uh, you know, Black Pearl is gone, then you get all the buffs and the black pearl also took some of the golden uh, cheese you know damage so that's the reason why he wasn't dying also crimson coral crimson coral's buff is huge so light type attack speed comp queen of man all right uh we got Madelin, we got parfait we got creme Brulee, as well as snapdragon this is most likely going to be uh burnt cheese with fettuccine i want to say all right here we go Queen of Man, Madeline, we got Parfait. Ooh. Barely surviving there. Oh, Parfait got exploded. Oh, Cranberry is gonna die. Hmm. Okay. Cranberry literally exploded. All right, is this a frost comp here? Let's go. Here we go. Burnt cheese. Oh wait, burnt cheese uses skill first. It's a little weird, but okay. All right, at least Cranberry is not, uh, you know, slowing down at all. Look at that. Look at that. We're just targeting uh, Frost Queen. All right, max stack of a Salarando coming up here. Yep, max a Salarando stack. Dang, look at that. Look at that. What the heck is going on? What is that? Bro. Did you see them all just explode? Gosh, 16 million! Uh, well, the top wouldn't have any effect because I have burnt cheese and parfait giving, um, you know, the diva immunity. All right, here we go. Dang, parfait almost died again. Right, the main point is for us to have 
our Crambole somehow reached that, uh, you know, max of seller on the stack. That's the main focus right now. So if we can make that happen, then it is our victory. Okay, there's that snipe. There is the, oh my gosh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Come on, come on, Crimpley. Oh no, the taunt. No, the taunt. Ah, the taunt, the taunt. Dang, the damage is there. It's just taunt happened. But I feel like it's, it's, yo, Living Abyss might just, just disappear. Eight percent. That that you might be right on that. Yeah, you guys might be right because I remember it, it was a lot more fat. But she does enough. Oh, barely dodged it. Uh, let's just spam it from here. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Okay, I, I think, all right, I think, oh yeah, this is so random. I don't even know the skill order and everything, and I'm getting the amount of damage that old, old Living Abyss comps were getting at like, you know, crit percentages. Like, come on, this, this is the new one, dude. Like, I don't even know exactly what the order is. The toppings are all out of whack. And this is what we're getting. This is crazy. All right, guys. Well, to kind of conclude the first initial review of Crambole, uh, Arena seems promising. Seems like we can do a lot of, uh, you know, different uh, things with Crambole. I don't know if a attack speed comp will come back, but seems very strong at dealing with a lot of the, you know, really, really strong DPSs right now, just because he is able to target them. Um, I feel like he's... Although, uh, you know, good inside of the arena, his main focus is going to be uh, the actually uh, Avatar of Destiny. I mean, some people are hitting 600 million already. Um, so I think, you know, Avatar of Destiny might just return along with the Red Velvet Dragon and the Abyss is going to disappear. So, um, yeah, I think we'll, we'll get something. But that's pretty much what we got. Uh, Creme Brulee seems like a very, very worth cookie. I mean... He's cool. His attack animation is cool. His skill is awesome. So, yeah, I, I guess that's what I want to end it right now for the initial review.